Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all very well. Today's video is much requested. Workwear seems to be a big topic and I think it can feel so overwhelming at times. So I thought I would break it down for you. A really simple workwear formula that will basically work for kind of any sort of office job. These are gonna be tips that you can apply um, to create your own kind of perfect workwear wardrobe. So in this video, I'm not necessarily going to be showing you exact outfits for you to copy, although there will be lots of outfit ideas in here, but it's more about these tips that you can apply to your own wardrobe. Um, take these away and whatever job you do, you can basically apply them to that. So my tip number one is make sure you have your color palette. And for me, a workwear color palette really consists of neutrals. I know that probably will come as no surprise. Predominantly neutrals that you can intersperse with some bits of color. I like the idea of dark reds, tans, blues, maybe some greens, some quite natural um, muted shades of color that I think you can put in there to work against the neutrals. So for me, you have to kind of two types of neutral color palette. One is a cool neutrals and one is a warm neutrals. So for cool neutrals, this will consist of things like greys, like the Marsala London jacket I'm wearing today. Black, of course, but that works with everything. Tops and then maybe pinky beiges that go with those gray tones. And then warmer neutrals, things like camels, warm beiges and um, browns, uh, burgundies, chocolate, different shades, tones like that um, that you can mix and match and pair together well. So usually I find that those warm neutrals pair really nicely together and it's quite nice to create tonal looks out of those. And then you can create looks out of your cooler neutrals as well um, and mix and match those together. So I think having that neutral base um, will stop any confusion in your wardrobe because sometimes when you've got lots of pattern and color. It can be very overwhelming and it's often more of a one or two time wear as opposed to these neutral basics that you can wear over and over again. And then like I said, you can just pop some color into these neutrals like shades of blue, like this blue shirt that I'm wearing here. Um, this just tones in really nicely, gives it a pop of color. But I think more natural shades and more muted shades like the blues, like the greens, like the tans feel a little bit more professional and put together than something really bright. So tip number two in the fail safe workwear formula is to stick to the staples. It is so easy to get distracted from this. I talk all the time about the magpie pieces, those things that we gravitate towards. You know, sometimes you go into Zara and there can be that one piece on the shelf that you just gravitate towards and you think, oh wow, this is amazing. You end up buying it and then you never wear it because it just doesn't go in your wardrobe. Um, and again, maybe it's only a one or two time wear. So stick to those core basics. Now we are in winter here at the moment, but you may come to find this video at a different time of year, or it might be warmer where you are, but I definitely think you can apply these things into your own wardrobe. And that's really what I wanted to create um, in this video is basically me handing it over to you with the tools to do that. So by staples, obviously, like I say, I'm catering a bit more to winter here, um, but things like knitted dresses for me is a real staple, just a simple long knit midi dress. Um, and that also works really well in your kind of casual wardrobe too, but you can pair this with a pair of smart boots and a nice bag, depending on your work environment. Again, all of these tips need to be catered to your own work environment. So maybe knitted dresses are too casual for where you work. Um, so maybe opt for something else within the staple range. Things like a classic white shirt. Here I'm wearing mine with some wide leg black trousers. These for me are an all time fail safe um, for winter, spring, summer, autumn. You could wear them in the summer with sandals if your office permits um, or in the winter with a pair of boots. A pair of smart trainers as well, um, I think always works. And then I think a smart coat 
never goes amiss. A coat or a blazer, again, depending on your climate and environment, just something smart, tailored. Um, the piece that I'm showing you here is from Sana New York and it's kind of a cross, it's like a trench coat trench coat, everything's a trench coat. <laughs> I mean more of a, rather than like a Mac, it's more of like a proper tailored winter coat. <laughs> that was so badly explained. Um, but it's in this trench style, um, but a trench coat, a normal trench coat would work really well. But just invest in those staple pieces and you'll find that it's really kind of the thing that holds your whole workwear wardrobe together. Other items would include basic simple knitwear like this round neck jumper here is from Source Unknown store and this just acts as a layering piece or a layer within itself a really nice neutral core basic that you can pair with anything like these kind of smart cigarette trousers these are old H&M sadly um, everything will be linked below but if it is older which a lot of these pieces can be um, then I'll find alternatives but that just shows that um, these basics they are old, but they still work now. So it really kind of is a testament to the tip is that you can rewear these pieces time and time again, and they go with so many different things. Um, and then in terms of footwear, you can think of loafers, ballet flats, a pair of classic black boots, and just those staples that will cater to your climate and your work environment. The third and final tip in the workwear formula is to look for interesting accessories. So we've got the neutral colors, we've got the basics. Now we need to jazz it up just a little bit. We need to keep it professional whilst also adding interest and personality. And that is where accessories come in. One, because they're affordable. So that means if they do go out of fashion a little bit, you've not wasted loads of money. And they're just quite a muted way to inject your personality into your office wardrobe. So my first example here is a silk or satin scarf. Um, just adding this is so chic and classic. It's a very classy accessory. It kind of screams old Hollywood to me. So injecting this is a really nice way to add a bit of your personality in your wardrobe. And you could also add some color in using a satin or silk scarf like that. And then you can really play around with your outfits. I just tied it as a bit of a neckerchief style, but you could wear this kind of round your bag um, or just hanging loose around your neck. There are multiple ways to wear this. I actually did a reel quite a while ago, probably last summer or last um, autumn now. No, it was actually, no, it was last spring. All about styling a silk scarf. So you can head over, scroll back through my reels and you'll be able to find it. But that to me is a really useful piece to have in your workwear toolkit. Another example of interesting accessories is this Demelier bag with the braided handle. And your accessory doesn't need to be um, colorful. It doesn't need to be particularly bold but just look for those subtle details that make the piece stand out. I think Demelier do this so well um, with their bags. They are so wearable and versatile. They go with absolutely everything, but it's those subtle details like that braided handle um, and the actual shape of the bag itself that really emphasizes the look and adds just something a little bit more unusual. Also things like belts. I've got my YSL one here. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a designer one, but something maybe with a little bit of embellishment or detail in. Um, and like the one I am wearing, this one is from Polen. I absolutely adore this. You know I'm a huge fan of Polen um, and their bags, but this belt is just so fab. Um, I love the double twist. Again, this piece isn't particularly colorful or bold or bright, but it's those details. It's the croc, it's the shape of the um, buckle itself the way I've tied it, and also the fact that it's a double loop that really makes this something special that you can still combine with everything in your wardrobe. And this you can wear um, not just for workwear, but it's an investment for the rest of your wardrobe as well. And I think that's the same for all kinds of accessories. Um, you can mix and match them into your more casual pieces as well. So those are all the tips you need to create the perfect workwear wardrobe. So as a refresh and a reminder, it is color palette, think neutrals. It is classic basic staples and also structural and interesting accessories. 
So I hope you found this useful. If you did find it useful, um, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, um, give it a thumbs up and always leave me a comment. Um, actually keep adding to the tips. I'd love to know your tips to creating a perfect workwear wardrobe. Um, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.